Hey y'all, welcome back to another Mask Monday. We've got three Iron Maiden masks to show you. So we'll start by looking at the Wicker Man. All right, so this is the Wicker Man Iron Maiden mask. Um, this one's brand new from Trick or Treat Studios. We had a lot of pre-orders for this mask and people buy it in the store quite a bit. And I think the sculpt is really cool. Eric Lubati sculpted this as well as all the Iron Maiden masks that we'll see today. Um, he's clearly a really big fan and he does spot on perfect jobs every time. But anyways, as far as the paint job goes, it's a super simple paint job. Um, I think that they just do a black base and then stipple this brown color on top of it. And then the eyes are kind of like mostly white with some red on the outside, so it kind of has that like sunburst effect. Oh, I guess the other, the other really cool thing about the sculpture is like these big like pieces of wicker, or I don't know whatever material that this would be called, but it clearly looks like a wicker basket. It's a wicker man for a reason, but these like things sticking out um, are pretty fun. And I didn't even notice it like the first time I was looking at it because it's all in the back. Anyways, Eric did an awesome job with the sculpt and um, and again, this is one of those ones where it's pretty easy to replicate the paint job because um, it's pretty much just those two colors, black and then stippling the brown on. And so that's always good for mass production and it came out really well. So uh, let's take a look at an older Iron Maiden mask that we just didn't really have in the store when we did the last Rock and Roll series. Okay, so this is the Number of the Beast Iron Maiden mask. Uh, it's my favorite of all the Iron Maiden masks for obvious reasons. The sculpt is super cool. I just love these like insane like um, bat ears that he has. It's like a winged demon. And then the nose um, comes to this really like angular point. It's just a really cool expression on his face. And then of course my favorite part of the mask, probably the first thing that everyone notices when you look at it is his insane mustache. And a fun thing about the mustache is um, there's a little like thin wire in there. So you can like bend it and shape it however you want. It'll be going out all crazy like in the in the picture. The paint job is just like a red base and then they go in with black to um, kind of low light everything and bring out the details in the ears and uh, in the forehead and the nose and everything. And then my other favorite part about the sculpture are his teeth. They're not like um, what you would typically think with like a devil or a demon to have just like a bunch of like really clean sharp teeth. His teeth are really kind of just like crooked and, and scraggly and he does have like fangs there but he just it, it just adds to his like insane expression. He's not like a scary devil, he's very much just like a fun, wild, um, just nasty devil. And then a cool thing about the paint job is with the eyes, they um, just like blast the pupil with paint so that it all like bunches up and kind of explodes out. So you get this like effect where there, there's like, uh, the paint runs in like 360 degrees so you get just this cool fun effect. And then another thing is the, the hair is sewn in on this one so it's got this like black and gray hair that if you, if you look at it up close it kind of looks like doll's hair. Um, and then if you look closely you'll see he's got these tiny little horns. So again he's not like this big scary demon devil, he's really more of like a, a fun devil that you want to like sit around and drink tequila with. So I, I like this one a lot and uh, the sculpture's awesome from Eric Labati. This, this one's older, we just didn't have it in stock when we did like the last Iron Maiden masks, um, but I'm happy that we had it this time when we got these new ones in, so I wanted to make sure that I included him, because like I said, he's my favorite one. So uh, we'll look at the other new one, which is called The Klansman. All right, so here we have The Klansman uh, from the Iron Maiden uh, line of masks from Trick or Treat Studios. Um, this mask is insanely heavy for some reason, like every single one of them, I think it has to do with, there's a lot of hair on it for one, um, and the, the pulls are, I mean, fairly thick, but I don't know, I think it's just the hair that makes it so heavy. A box of 40 of these things is like almost impossible to lift. But the paint job for this one's really cool. They, I think they start with a black base and stipple the brown on top, and then uh, the, the war paint or whatever, the blue, is uh, looks like it's done by hand and then they have uh, these like blood drips coming down and there's also some blood in his uh, mouth. My favorite part about this one is definitely the mouth as far as the sculpture is concerned. He has this like tongue kind of half sticking out and the teeth are just like really realistic and nasty looking. His, his gums are popping out there and I just like the blood that's kind of in him. The eyes are pretty simple. It's like just like the black base with just little white dots basically. So again, a, a simple effective paint job and um, just super heavy. I wonder if the hair is sewn in or, yeah, it looks like the hair is sewn in, not glued in. So yeah, it's, it's a really well-made, uh, good production mask. 
I don't know why it's called the Klansman. I'm not an Iron Maiden fan, so you Iron Maiden fans get in the comments and tell me why he's called the Klansman because I don't want it to be the only other word I know how to associate with it. All right, that's going to wrap up this week's Mask Monday. I hope you enjoyed these new Iron Maiden masks. Um, they have a plethora of characters to choose from, so let me know in the comments what other Iron Maiden uh, mascots you'd like to see turned into masks from Trick or Treat Studios, as well as any other bands that have cool mascots or characters you'd like to see in mask form. Like, share, subscribe, visit us at NightmareToys.com, and I'll see you next week for another Mask Monday.